Hi, everyone. So my name is Matilda, as you heard. I'm the COO of a company called Bioptimus. We are building the world's first multi-scale, multimodal foundation model for biology. Let me tell you what that actually means. So over the last year, we've all experienced the power of foundation models to create a paradigm shift in the way that we understand and consume knowledge and information. I'm talking about the large language models that underpin ChatGPT, Copilot, Claude, and all of those uh, applications. They use a huge amount of data, all the words and images available on the internet, to answer any conceivable question that you have. And they'll, they'll take from all of the power and uh, knowledge from the human race and give you the best answer they have. Now imagine there was a model that could answer any question you had about your body, about biology. Every year, pharmaceutical companies, cosmetics companies, and the food industry spend trillions of dollars in R&D trying to predict how your body is going to react to a product that you put into it. This isn't surprising because no two bodies are the same. It's extremely complex how your body and the cells in your body are going to react. I can say that because I'm an identical twin. And on paper, these companies should think that we should react in exactly the same way to their products. However, she's extremely allergic to cats, and I'm not. So something in our lifestyle choices has made changes in the way that we react and interact with our environments. And as such, we may have different reactions to cancer treatments, for example. So this is extremely complex. And the research that goes on today goes on in small groups, not sufficiently diverse. It takes years to understand how products really affect our bodies. And it's expensive. And ChatGPT and large language models are not going to solve this problem. Words are not the language of biology. ChatGPT does not understand the laws of the living. The language of biology is DNA, RNA, protein, cells, molecules. <clears throat> there are two revolutions today that have come about and brought us to a unique place in history. One is the revolutions in AI and the power of AI that we have today. The second, potentially slightly lesser known, is in the way that we can capture and understand cell data. That's through imaging and omics. Bioptimus is using both of these revolutions in technology to create the world's first multi-scale, multimodal foundation model for biology. Multi-scale because we're building up an understanding of biological organisms from the molecular level to the cellular level, to understanding how cells interact in the tissue, and to understand how tissues interact and are independent in an organism and in your body. We're using multiple modalities of biology, modalities being DNA, RNA, protein, metabolites. This is going to give us greater accuracy and be able to answer a, a huge variety of questions in the biological sphere. There are some models today being built in just one vertical. We are the first to combine all verticals to try and understand really how the complexity of a biological organism works from the ground up. Imagine the following. An oncologist is sitting with a cancer patient. Within seconds, they can understand which treatment will, will provide a cure for that patient because they understand how that patient will respond to immunotherapy or to chemotherapy. Imagine a model that could simulate genetic activity in a tumor and itself suggest and test hypotheses to create new drug targets and potentially find a cure for cancer. We at Bioptimus imagine, imagine a world where all biological data, all blood tests, DNA samples, x-rays, are put into a model and used by our foundation model and then used by any company looking to make a biological discovery as a starting point, as a support. So pharmaceutical companies, for example, can run tests through our model first, or even alongside clinical trials, to rapidly increase the speed and accuracy with which they can get results. 
cosmetic companies have approached us and said they can use the outputs from our models as a baseline to produce the next anti-aging face cream. Food companies and food industry can potentially come up with new ingredients that will help us to absorb vitamins in a different way. And doctors looking at cancer biopsies can potentially see genetic mutations in seconds, costing a few dollars instead of taking several months and costing tens of thousands of dollars. We are fundamentally trying to change uh, the nature of which we understand biology. We are creating a paradigm shift. Move on. A paradigm shift in the way that we understand biology today. To do this requires four key things, and we have a head start in all four of those already today. The first and most important thing is that our founding team is a team of world-leading minds in AI and machine learning from Google DeepMind and scientists in biology from research institutions and Novartis. Secondly, the data that feeds these models is extremely important. We already have amassed a huge volume of data and we have unique access to a piece of data that's being developed as we speak by a consortium of partners and the largest hospital, research hospitals in the world that's creating the first atlas for spatial biology that exists today. And we are able to use that data to train our model. Thirdly, compute. We have designed and optimized compute for scalability because we're going to need a heck of a lot of scale and for economic sustainability. And finally, we've been less than a year in operation. We've already put out our first version of our model and our technology is already the best in the world. Don't take my word for it. A study by Mahmood Labs out of Harvard earlier this year compared all the foundation models that have been developed in the histology vertical and our model, H Optimus Zero, outperformed all other foundation models in the market today. And you'll see that's also against some of the largest, most well-funded technology names that are out there. We are creating a paradigm shift in the way that we think about and understand biology today. If you're interested to join the journey as a user, as a data partner, please get in touch with me after the session. Thank you very much.